The death of Scion. Does anyone even give a crap? So last week, Toyota officially stated that Scion was going to be going ba 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 bye forever after the end of 2016. But the biggest question is, does anyone even care, honestly? I mean, this could have a big impact, or it could not have any impact at all, and the world will just move on. Let's be honest, the biggest and most important part of Scion brand by now is the FRS, and that's continuing as, an, as the Toyota FRS in the US, so that's completely fine. So let's talk about all the reasons that Scion failed as a brand. The first one is, they were supposed to be a youthful experimental brand because Toyota at the time definitely had a lot of older folks buying their cars because they were boring and were pretty much just cars that get you to go from A to B and they really didn't have as much of a flair to them as a lot of other cars in the market at the time. So Scion comes out trying to be a youthful brand that's very experimental and they come out with the XB. A very experimental and interesting and Japanese kind of stylish car. But then they come out with cars like the XA. I mean, that car was literally nothing. It had no point to it. There was nothing special. So, what exactly was Scion doing? The thing is that the type of brand that Scion was, they had to be extremely experimental people in order to be successful. And they completely ignored that factor and just kind of played it safe. Because of this, the Scion brand as a, as a whole started going downhill very quickly. And during the early 2000s, after the first few models of Scion came out, came the Scion TC, their first sports car. And it was a successful car, I guess you could say. And it meant that their sales peaked in 2006. But that is the last time they ever had good sales. Ten years ago. Think of all the things that have happened in the last 10 years, and Scion has had no good sales since then. That's crazy. So after the Scion TC wasn't really cool anymore and just kind of started going downhill, so did the rest of the brand. The point of the brand is to be unique, and most of the cars that were coming out were just rebadged Toyotas, which were, like I said at the time, boring. I still think Toyota's a fairly boring brand. They only have like one sports car which is the GT86 which is the FRS the Scion but soon that's gonna be gone and it's gonna be a Toyota so I mean what exactly were they thinking see most vehicle brands will sell you something that they completely played it safe on because they think that it'll sell but Scion they tried that but the thing was if they were doing that why wouldn't people just go buy a Toyota? Because they were pretty much just Toyotas. And even though they were aimed at the youthful market, most of the people buying their cars were in their 30s or even 40s. So, I mean, not exactly a youthful market anymore. So was it a good idea for, for Toyota to kill Scion? Yeah, it definitely was. Scion was having horrible sales and all their uniqueness slowly faded away, especially when the XB being a boxy little refrigerator practically that you could pretty much do anything to, became all tame and curved and ended up looking a lot like a Nissan Cube in my opinion. And their brand just completely failed. And since Toyota is going to be getting most of the Scion models except for the Scion TC which is going to see its death at the end of this year, that means that Toyota is really not losing anything. In fact, a lot of people didn't like that the FRS was called a Scion because the rest of the brand was, well, Awful. So this brand that set out to become unique and frivolous and fruity and youthful just kind of ended up falling into a pool of beige awful boringness. Obviously, I mean, Toyota's been going up in sales a lot, so it was probably for the best they killed Scion. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Let Make sure to leave in the comments what you guys think, and make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more car content. And I will see you guys later.